Alright, no, we're still, we're still Marvel, still Marvel, still Marvel. Still Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we need to get good. I think I do. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to know how to So I'm the uh, esports club president. I called together e-board meetings and uh, got the power to delegate responsibilities. <laughs> so Melee is a multiplayer game, which is, you know, check that box, and it's with the people you're actually in the room with, and you can't play it online. So for some people, this is like the only opportunity is to like come into club and play it once a week. But it seems like one of those games where, you know, until you reach the really tip top of competitive play, you can really get along with any character. Um, as long as you just have your own style. In the context of the club, it works because it's a social game. We're able to like fill a niche with Melee that we wouldn't be able to do with, say, League of Legends. It is the perfect competitive game, I think. I, I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was a blast. There's like no other game I've ever played. My friends back at home, there were a couple of them that started getting really good. And um, we started doing tournaments here around that time. So I just thought it'd be fun to start actually incorporating stuff. Like a really fun social activity at some point. You just kind of sit down, play some video games, and have a couple of laughs. I'd say that I like the, the Smash community. It seems really solid. You know, these are people that have been playing a game that hasn't been updated in 15 years or more. When you watch Melee, it's a sight to see. And Melee is one of those things where if you do well, it's entirely up to you. Like you have complete control over it. And if you're doing bad, it's your fault. Melee is the type of game where every time you play it, something new is going to happen. Um, and that's exciting. You know, it's fun. And it's also something where you can see improvement and always make improvement. And I don't know. I think that's that's something that if you want something long term, you know, something you'll be invested in, you need to see that like growth of yourself in it. You can be really free in the game. So when you're trying to like express yourself in your play, your personality like really shines through. Matt is a ball of fire. If I could describe him as anything, he is this hyper-aggressive, hyper-stylish, in-your-face kind of a player. He doesn't want to sit around and shoot lasers or even do the smart thing half the time. He just wants to beat the crap out of you until you just don't know well, what to do with him. Matt definitely tries to go the pacifist. Like, he's immediately right off the gate just going 90 miles an hour. He's trying to hit you and he will like take every hit to his farthest. As a person, he's actually very different, I would say. He, he's a funny person, is I think a good start. Um, super chill person for sure, but I think he really enjoys the memes of Melee, I would say. My first time playing Melee was with my cousin who had the game, and I had to sneak it from my parents because they wouldn't let me play anything that was just, that was not like rated E for everyone. But like when I started playing with Ketchum, that's when that's when I started to like like the game more, like I understood more about the game, and that's what makes it like fun for me. Yeah. Why do I like melee? Cause it's sick. Cause it's it's sick as fuck. No, I like melee because um, they always say that it's very free form and stuff like that, and it's like you can pretty much do what you want. You never really practice tag. You just kind of like. There's like some there's like some point where it's just like oh that's where they need that and like it finally makes sense and then I just use it. I'd like to be bro, I guess. Yeah, that'd be cool. I've done it once. I don't know, right now, I mean he's he's switching characters, so kinda just seems unfinished, but like he definitely seems like the type of like player to just stick to the game plan. So like he knows what he wants to do, but it's a matter of like executing. That sounds really annoying to play against. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he's he's very defensive, and a lot of what he does is he tries to make he tries to punish your mistakes. Yeah, he's playing Sheik now, but I feel like I feel like that that fits in like the Ketchum storyline because he went from like he 
went from like he was like dishonored for a period of time where he's like I'm not playing melee anymore, and then he like went to shoot. He's like he's coming back with like high tiers, and he's like now he means business. He's a memester. He, he's, he's all about the memes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a he's a cheery guy, but he's very easy to upset or tilt. I've come so close to quitting melee so many times over the past like year or so, just because it gets so disheartening. I'm super impatient. That's like the first thing. Since I've gotten back to school this last semester, I just said to myself, you know what? We're gonna play Sheik. I'd like to be to the point with Sheik that I never, or I don't feel like the reason I'm losing is because I'm letting myself down on a technical level. I was one of the first melee players here, and then I just sort of let myself fall into a rut of, you know, self you know, oh, I can't do this, or, oh, I'm I'm already good, I don't need to try. But I think after a wake-up call, I suppose, and realizing, oh crap, now I'm like 10 on the PR, that's terrible. Um, I want to be good at this game again. Let's talk about craft. Uh, craft, on the other hand, you don't you don't want to mess with. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's like a new kid in town. He's that freshman who's just like really good. He's, he's reached a different point of tech skill that I can't really like interact with, especially playing with Fox. Like, he's really funny. Cool guy. You know, fun to be around. Yeah. <laughs> because he's so young, he just seems like a nice little boy. Like he's just so nice and kind. Yeah. But melee, every single thing I do is like exactly how I said I would do it. So like if I mess up, I'm accountable for it. Like I know, I know exactly what I'm doing and what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. So in that aspect, it's like I love it. I mean, now that we're streaming, that helps. Just like watching videos, watching what I'm doing wrong. I think if everyone else like got down their tech skill, they'd be at where I am. Just like playing a lot, getting used to it more. I don't know. Here's the thing. Like I'm not even like that mad about the loss last tournament because like we played well. I, I ran out of juice. I got tired. Like that's fine. Like it happens. Man. So right right now, like in these next two weeks, I just gotta laugh. Oh god. So the mental game is like, you know, it's like what's going on in your mind while you're playing the game. You know, chess games not just people moving pieces. There's also a sense of, you know, what is this person thinking? How can I undermine that? How can I trick them? I guess it's just two people saying, hey, my, my, uh, my strategy is better than your strategy. And then showing you, or not showing you. The mental game, so a lot of people like to describe it like chess, I think, nowadays. It's just, um, it's just chess on crack, kind of. Like, you, the game's moving really quickly. Like, I'd kind of compare the mental game of melee to, like, either fencing or boxing. Definitely, like, because you need to, like, notice your opponent's habits. So, like, if this was, like, a boxing analogy, like, if you throw out a jab, you need to know which way your opponent's going to, like, look at the jab to see, like, if their eyes aren't looking in a specific area so you can hit them with another hit or, like, how they duck and weave or with fencing. And fencing kind of reminds me of, like, mainly spacing game a lot because you need to be, like, when your opponent throws out, like, if they try to poke you with it, you need to be like just outside of their range so they miss you so they kind of like lost their opportunity and when they're trying to get back into position to go again you need to go in and try to hit them so i think you do the best example with rock paper scissors mm. if someone always if you rock paper scissors someone and they always open rock then you know you should start opening paper but then they know that you're going to open paper so they're going to start opening with scissors and then it's kind of like a back and forth mental game is like oh how far is he thinking into this strategy or how many levels deep is he thinking so I can go one level deeper to counter his strategy. Tilting is classic. Tilting is, is like in all parts of life. <laughs> and the idea is that you kind of make one mistake or you do something dumb and that undermines your self-confidence and then you start doing more dumb things because you're, you're now like not trusting in your own, in your own judgment. And so, as you can see, there's kind of a cycle there. <laughs> it starts with one mistake and it uh, kind of waterfalls into just like catastrophe. The melee tournament plays the exact same way. I lost to Connor again and Lulu. 
Same deal. I'm pretty. I, I'm not mad, but like I was just like I was thinking in my head. I was like, you know what? I play Andy's Mars all the time. I probably can beat Rob's Mars. Mars. But uh, I dropped the ball on that one. I'm pretty sure I said two busters and then the third one, the banger. So like maybe y'all should watch out this week. I think I actually did pretty well. Um, I think I ended up suffering from a little bit of unfamiliar matchup. Music Strat, it's so great. Like. It's so much better than you think it's gonna be. You think, oh, what's how useful could m listening to music possibly be? It's it keeps you from thinking. You know, if you're listening to the music and not thinking about, you're not thinking about the person next to you. You're just thinking about their character on the screen. Then you stop thinking this person's better than me. This person's worse than me, and you just start playing with what's in front of you. I haven't been getting upset at the game. I've been feeling hopeful. I think at this point I don't really care about proving anything anymore. I just want to be me. The week, uh, the week before was second as well, which I wasn't happy about. So basically I just like ran out of juice. I was tired and I kind of felt like I was comfortable and I, I just let it slip and that's not good. So I just gotta make sure I keep playing consistent all the way throughout. Just gotta clean stuff up, make sure my tech skills on, make sure I'm going to warm be confident in my, my uh, kill setups, stuff like that. So. Well, coaches exist because there is an optimal way to practice, right? I think a lot of us practice uh, practice <laughs> to have fun, you know, we're playing games to have fun. The, the thing about Melee is you try to pursue a goal and once you conquer or beat that goal, you move on to the next goal. Just knowing that you can always win and that the other person can always come back, so keeping that in mind. You're playing against people that are really, really alert and really looking to punish any small mistake. So if just for a moment you take your head out of the game and leave yourself in a vulnerable position, you can you can die. Melee is a very unforgiving game. The thing about habits is, if not for, like, you, you, it's hard to get over them. I suppose the best way forward in terms of mentality is to not take myself so seriously to start with and just be like easy come easy go but that's that's going to be the hardest part is just being able to say it was one game start the next one but that's something that even the best players struggle with you know getting getting even s once you hit that moment when you start to tilt it's really hard to stop tilting if i stick with anything i could I could do that. I could like I could become sick at it. The thing about melee is that there's always gonna be someone better than you. I lost to Matt Cock today. I learned beat Tony first, never see Matt Cock anyway. That was a good set, it was a really good set. Like that one like that made it all worth it. That was a really, really good uh because it was just like it was just like back and forth, like even even. And like even to the last stock it was very even, so that was a good that was a good game. Um, but I almost got it. That was almost it. So twice, I almost had it. I was like, oh. That's why my life would have been better if I just beat Tony. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really playing well this week. Nobody really was. I did some good stuff, I did some bad stuff, and I think that's just melee in a nutshell. I don't think I was playing well enough to beat him today, but, you know, I think that's just sort of how it goes. The mere act of being able to lose, and even in, like, a way that would normally, and even now, still makes me a little bit upset, you know, it's... I still just, I let it go, which I think is huge. Oh, I lost. Our currently ranked number one player in the tournament today usually does not come. So I usually win. But uh, I always wanted to come really bad because I always like the games are always really close. But uh, he came today and he won. I had a lead and I choked it. Bad stuff to me. I think we can get it. Sucks. I really wanted this one. This was the tournament. I just I kind of dropped it. I only have myself to blame. I mean, I have a, a mental wall. I really thought I was gonna get past it. But honestly, like, I I, I don't think I'm gonna lose next time. Next time I'm gonna be all at it. I think I think I can definitely do it. I just gotta keep playing. But mostly for melee, like I kind of that's my stress relief. So well, like when I'm stressed after like a long week of classes, like I'll sit down with like Freddie and Will, 
and like go to the tourney and we'll just play a lot of melee. Also, it's just like it's a nice way to just unwind sometimes. The thing about melee is you can, especially like at Skid Wars, like the community is kind of I wouldn't say super close knit, but like we're we're close enough such that we can just laugh laugh at each other every now and again, which is really funny. Meet some weird fucking white kid in his fucking in the basement, and he's like his smash dojo, and then suddenly you have a friend named catch him, and then like you meet another fucking like sweet sweet white kid. <laughs> he's the nicest boy, and then you got a friend named Shane. So it's just a really good form of self-expression. I, I hope that people who play a lot of melee might learn that if they like stick to something, they can get good at it, and if they practice something regularly. And if they change the way they do something um, to you know, help them learn how to do it better all the time, like instead of just playing for fun, like playing to practice a certain skill, if they change the way they practice, that they can get really good at something. Yeah. I feel like the, the onus is on unanimous to win this for some reason. Giving up suggestions.